Hey, 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 it's your girl Kay from Cute, and I want to welcome you to my channel if you're new. I want to welcome you back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. Here on Crafting with Cute, we discuss all things DIY, all things tips and tools for small business owners. You know what to do if that interests you. Don't forget to subscribe below. So, press the bell, turn on those notifications so you get all the good tea when I post it because I'm dropping gems for my small business owners. Um, I've been receiving a frequent question within the duration of my business and I wanted to address this question the question always revolves around what's better to buy when printing labels a thermal printer or inkjet printer I got you I got you let's get into it As you know there are multiple printers brands sizes colors functions out there that you can consider when purchasing a printer so i'm going to go over the two inkjet printers i have and why i have them there are also also multiple thermal printers and i'll go over what i have and why i have it so i want to first Look at my HP Envy Photo 7855. So this is a four in one. You can copy, fax, scan, and print. It is a really good photo printer. I, if you don't know, I make personalized pendants. Um, so the pictures are the pictures and color is very vi vibrant when printing my images for my photo pendants. Um, I'm not even going to hold you. The only reason that I have this printer is because it was literally the only HP printer available, all-in-one printer available when COVID happened, when I quit my job and fo to focus on my business full-time. So I do not regret my purchase at all. This printer ran me about $200. This print printer ran me about $50. This printer is the HP DeskJet 2755. And the only reason I had to get this printer because it was because it has a back feed, which is very beneficial when I do my logo tissue paper. So if you need tissue paper with your brand on it, I got you. Um, I had to have a HP printer because it offers a program called Instant Ink. I will tag that video I did on Instant Ink below so you can see the benefits of investing in this program. You literally do not have to ever buy ink. So what you do is you pick a plan, they have multiple plans available. I think I do $11.99 for 300 pages and then they also have rollover pages if you don't use all your pages per month. Um, so I pay $11.99 for 300 pages. Don't quote me, I think that's what it is. Um, in order to print and not worry about the hassle of running low on ink, going to buy ink, running out of ink, none of that. So when you buy these printers, they do come with um, free months. So this printer, I got five months free. This printer, I got two months free. And I'm sure it's because of the, the price difference. Um, and when you get the month, the free monthly incentives, I believe you can print 500 pages per month for free. Um, I can't remember, though, if the free pages rolled over when you started paying for your plan. So... That is my insight on these two printers. The benefit of the only benefit or pro I see in the inkjet printer versus the thermal printer is the fact that you can print wirelessly. But because I do my work in my office, I'm okay with having to have this plugged up into the computer in order to print. So like I said, you do have to buy ink. If you're not in the instant ink program, you can definitely buy the cartridges, they run you about $30 for both cartridges you need in each printer. One is strictly black, one is color. You can print anywhere from 100 to 120 pages per two cartridges in the um, in the uh, printer. So my thing is, if I'm going to pay $30 to print 100 pages and I can pay $11.99 a month to print 300 pages and my pages roll over, which one would you do? Okay, bingo. So with this, you have to, of course, buy paper for all three. And I'm going to go over to, to and explain to you how you can get free labels 
for all your printers. Um, but the good thing about this is once you invest in your thermal printer, no matter what you choose, they if you talk to people, they're going to probably recommend the two most expensive ones, which are highly recommended, the Rolo and the Avery. I didn't go with those personally because this had enough, um, enough good reviews for me to feel comfortable in making this investment. It's about $50 less than those two printers. And I have personally seen a bunch of people complain about the Avery um, computer getting, the, the Avery printer getting jammed. I'm not here to bash any company, but if I'm gonna see, if I'm gonna pay the 200 to $300 on a label printer, I need to see all good reviews. That's just me personally. Whatever floats your boat, you go ahead and do it. Um, so, so that's that. In order to get free paper, you can go on ups.com. They have um, the double labels for your inkjet printers. If you have access to free paper and you prefer to print on free paper, UPS also offers clear sleeves in order to put these on your packages. And then for the label printer, they offer free rolls of labels or free fan fold labels. Um, it just goes with your preference. I personally prefer the fan fold because you can sit this on your desk and it'll just print out nicely versus this is gonna keep rolling everywhere back and forth if you decide to put this in. Now you can also invest in a holder. They have holders for these, but that's just more money. I'm very frugal y'all. And that's why I like sharing all my good tips with you all. So when I first started printing, I was using paper because I was unaware of the free shipping supplies that you can get from UPS. Um, and, and, it, and, it, and it did its job. You just had to, I just had to tape each label on and that becomes time consuming. So I'm all about getting stuff done fast. Needless to say, when I first started my business, there, there's a lot of things I've learned since I started my business, which is why I started this YouTube channel in order to help other small business owners um, have, a, have a resource they can go to directly in order to answer questions they may have with their, within their business, which is why I recommend you all messaging me on Instagram or emailing me. My Instagram is at cute, dot -E. My email is cute.by.ke at gmail.com. If you have any questions, I'm all here for seeing us all win. So if I can answer your question, I will surely do in the video. So like I said, I had multiple questions from customers on what's better between printing your labels using an inkjet printer or printing your labels using a thermal printer. So to sum it all up, with the thermal printer, you never have to worry about ink. Once you make your $150 purchase or $250 purchase, whichever thermal printer you decide to go with, um, you never have to buy ink again and you don't have to buy paper as long as you use UPS. They have paper available on Amazon um, that you can buy, but who wants to buy paper when you get free paper? So, um, yes. And then with this, you still have to use your pages within your instant ink program or buy ink in order to print your labels here Beats, custom chunks, what you need Custom face masks keep you safe No, no, no COVID-19 Focus on the